going easy on ourselves, finding the deepest truth with being the most nakedly, innocently, and sweetly honest uh, as much as we can, and we always can, deeply and profoundly. Who we are in the beginning of the day, in the middle and at the end, that voice that's always calling or crying sweetly, softly in the background, the echo. Sometimes seeming to be nagging at us, sometimes pampering, sometimes indulging, sometimes blissful. Being honest with the self in the most wonderful way. Asking ourselves what we truly want. It's the most fundamental question of all. Having a healthy dialogue, being at supreme clarity and transparency with ourselves allows it to be with others, naturally. Who do we think we're getting away from if we're running from ourselves? We're surely going to be running from the world and other people. When fully honest with the self and in the greatest clarity, removing excuses and removing the veil, removing excess, removing negligence, and just sitting properly inside of ourselves, whether at work or at play, or musing or sitting outside in nature, whatever we might be doing, But having that clarity, having that discussion with ourselves, it takes a very, very long time to find some kind of a happy life. We're always compromising, and we have to sometimes, but not all the time. Maybe we get used to these meaty ochre Oh, negotiations we make with ourselves sometimes. But if you really ask deeply and carefully, you will come to the conclusion easily to know what you want, where you want it. Perhaps how. Or being open to yourself and allowing something to come without forcing, without being too slow and humdrum about it. Life is an odd paradox because we're here trying to discover ourselves and placate our hearts, our broken hearts, seal that old, old ancient wound that we carry lifetime after lifetime, or that search, satisfy that search, that craving for something. A lot of the times we are addicted to our own distractions and dilemmas. The importance of breaking that habit to get onto something new. But to not necessarily do it because we feel expected that we have to, but because when we're sitting quietly, comfortably, comfortably and calmly with ourselves, then we say, yes, I do want that noble truth that my heart knew all along and I was waiting for it deeply and sweetly and truthfully so ask yourself if there are barriers in the way have you set them up have you let others set them up for you where should you compromise and where should you be adamant Being deeply, sweetly honest with the self. Detaching from unnecessary distractions and letting go of the 
strange privations we give to ourselves with a strange, I don't know, like giving away of ourselves in the wrong way, if you want to put it like that. And ask yourself nakedly, honestly, truthfully, what do you think you need for the happy life? What is keeping you from having that? Is it yourself? Is it somebody else? Is it a compromise you've made? Is it something you're waiting for still? And if you're unsure, then be unsure. Let that be your truth. And rather than it have a, be some kind of sensation inside haunting you, delve into it deeply and see why. What is the source of that? I will do the same. I often don't know what I want. And I feel almost on top of a bridge, on top of the world looking down. Not superior to it, but I mean, just having a great view and saying, I don't really know what to do. And maybe that itself was just a, a needed thing for the moment. And maybe that's okay. So see what brings the seeds of honesty into fruition for you the right amount of sunlight and water, so to say, and see what to do to remove, whether it's your own blockages from illusions and thought patterns within, or is it you need quiet time from the outside world? Do you need more nature? Ask yourself what it is that you want, and know it, and own it. And answer that call within, be that peace you seek. Because it is beautiful. And some things go away in time and some things remain with us until we finally say yes. I hope you find your yes. Namaste. Namaste.